Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I was feeling very inspired by the weather here in Colorado. It's a little bit overcast, rainy, cold. The leaves are starting to change colors, which is my absolute favorite. Fall, I swear, hands down, is my favorite time of year. I love the feels, I love the food, I love the smells, I love the weather. I love everything about it. Just felt very fall appropriate. So I wanted to film this for you guys and throw it up on my YouTube channel so that you could see what I was doing over here. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this fall, all makeup look please keep watching all right so i'm first going to grab this palette from a brand called lottie london i'll be using the green color to counteract any redness and then the orange color for dark circles under my eyes this was my first time using this palette. I did think that it was pigmented. I had a little bit of a rough time blending out the orange. It didn't blend as easily as I would have liked, but overall I do like the palette. I'm grabbing my Holy Grail Morphe Buffer Brush. This is the G1 brush to blend out all of that green concealer and magically make all of my redness disappear. <laughs> or so I wish. I've recently been trying out the Born This Way foundation from Too Faced. My shade is in the color Nude, and honestly, I think that I just used too much, so I'll just grab my handy dandy beauty blender that I am obsessed with and can't do my makeup without, and I will start to just blend this all over my face. The foundation is a little bit darker than my skin right now, but um, I'm wearing a high neck, so you can't really tell, and it's all good. <laughs> Overall, I do like the finish of it though. It does look very natural. Again, I think I just put too much on, <laughs> as you can see. For concealer and contour today, I'm using these Morphe concealers. I have used them one other time and I really didn't like them, so they kind of just went into my drawer, but I wanted to pull them out and start working with them again. I'm using the shade Oats to brighten up the center of my face. For the price point, I don't think these are bad. I believe they're five or six dollars. I will put all the information down below in the description box, but they are a little bit drying, so you have to work quickly with them. But again, I don't think they're bad for the price point. I'm gonna set everything with my Cody Airspun Translucent Powder. This stuff smells like straight old ladies, no offense, but it's amazing. I use it every day, I can't do my makeup without it. <laughs> For contour, I'm using the shade Toffee Nut. This is actually a little bit warmer than I normally go for my contour, but once I blended it all out, it was totally fine. I'm using this contour powder from Sephora. This is the shade Los Cabos, just to go over that and to kind of tone down the warmness a little bit. Um, personally, I prefer more of a cool toned contour. For brows, I'm using my Holy Grail products, which is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and then the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. I am just gonna lightly fill them in and just kind of go with the natural shape of my brow. I'm gonna be using some of my favorite Makeup Geek shadows. I'm starting off with picking up Chickadee on a Sigma E40 blending brush, and I'm just gonna to start to build that up in the crease. This is my go-to blending brush, starting off any look for like the last, <laughs> four years or something like that. It's just perfect to give you that really nice wash of color. I'm then picking up the shade Early Bird on a Morphe M441, and I'm just gonna go a little bit lower than that first chickadee color. I'm not being real precise with this. I'm kind of just throwing it in there. And here is where the party gets started. We're gonna pick up Morocco on a Morphe M433 and really amp this look up. I'm focusing it mainly on the outer corner and then when there's less product on my brush, I'm slowly gonna bring that into the inner corner and really making sure that this look is rounded out. I'm then going back in with that Sigma E40 blending brush to just blend out any harsh edges and make sure that everything looks seamless. Picking up Cabin Fever on this Morphe M562, I'm gonna focus that strictly in the crease. Now for the glitter, my favorite part, I'm picking up this Rose Gold Retro Magnificent Metals eyeshadow from Stila Cosmetics, and I'm gonna start to carve out my eyelid with that. I'm using this Pure Cosmetics On Point Eyeliner in the color Not Sorry, and I'm just gonna run that along my lash line. I wanted it to look a little bit more messy, so I picked up the Morphe M321 brush to just buff out that liner. 
I'm using these lashes from Lashes by Lucy in the style Whiplash and they are gorgeous. For my waterline, I'm picking up this bronze eyeliner from Tarte Cosmetics and I'm gonna take my beauty blender, pull down my eyelid and put it in there. I'm dipping back into the Cabin Fever shade with a Morphe M432 and I'm just gonna smudge out that bronze liner on the lower lash line. I mixed Morocco, Early Bird, and Chickadee on the Morphe M562 and then just blended it all out. For my highlighter today, I'm using this Precious Charms Highlighting Palette from Sleek Makeup, and I actually love these palettes. I have three of them. This is my first time trying this one out, and I went in with this cream color first, and then I set it with the color right below, which would normally be a little bit too dark for my skin tone, but somehow it happened to work. <laughs> I am so stoked for this brown lip combo. I picked up this MAC lip liner in the color Chestnut to outline my lips, obviously, because that's what you do with lip liner. <laughs> and then I grabbed the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in the shade Downtown Beauty. To set all of this cake in place, I picked up the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. I sprayed it all over my face and we are ready to hit the town, honey. So here is the finished look. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video and this look that I created. Definitely feel free to tag me on Instagram in any recreations or any ideas that you have that you want to see as far as fall makeup or just makeup in general, anything like that. My Instagram is at kcrab with two underscores. So feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, all the regular stuff that YouTubers tell you to do. Feel free to do it if you're wanting to hang out with me more. I appreciate you clicking on this video and watching me beat my face. As always, it's a pleasure and I will see you next time.